Hey friends, welcome to One Little Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a remote VS Code server that could be accessed. So you are going to set up that VS Code server on Google Colab's machine, and then from that, uh, you can use that uh, VS Code IDE um, anywhere uh, where you have got an internet access. So the way we are going to do is based on this tutorial. So thanks to Amit Chaudhary for putting together this tutorial, which helped me put together this video for you. So the way we are going to do is first, we are going to install this instance of code server that helps us access VS code on any machine anywhere just with a browser. So basically you need a Linux machine, which is what we have got as a Google Colab machine. And then once you install this VS code instance server on this Linux machine, so you just have to uh, start the VS Code instance uh, server and then uh, you get a local host URL. But the problem with the local host URL is that would be valid only within this uh, Linux machine, which you cannot access because you, Google Colab doesn't give you a browser access, right? So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to use um, the Google Colab, uh, we are going to use ngrok, we are going to use ngrok and then tunnel that particular local host URL to a public um, internet URL, which could be uh, accessed anywhere where you have got in uh, internet access. So if you're not familiar with ngrok, uh, ngrok is a very popular tunneling service. So we have already put together a videos uh, on how you can uh, simply under temporarily quickly install a machine learning web application on Google Colab uh, using ngrok. So I would recommend you to check that video and I would also link that video just below the like button. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, uh, give a thumbs up and then share the video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. So let's get started with this thing. You can actually read about uh, what is code server and how to use all those things here. So we'll quickly go and see how to install it. You can copy this, paste it here, and then you can start installing. Once this installation is done, then we are going to use pyngrok. Pyngrok is a Python package a wrapper around uh, ngrok. So let's kickstart that. Once you kickstart that, you can see that uh, pyngrok is installed. So then you have to import ngrok and then you are starting ngrok on a particular port. So this uh, particular port uh, is essential because that port is where we have to now uh, route our code server instance. So this is the URL. At this point, uh, you uh, there is nothing you are uh, seeing through this URL. So you can have a look at it. Next, um, we are going to now uh, start the code uh, server instance and we are routing it to this particular UR, uh, port. So let's start it. Once you start it, now you are uh, uh, sending output to this particular port. And now let us refresh this link, uh, which is what we got here. So it's the same link. So let's see what happens. It's uh, still loading and uh, it is almost done. And it's going to ideally show, yeah. So it's going to show you an instance of uh, ID. So you can start writing the code. So you can like um, go here and uh, you can say okay i think um, this is not quite visible i hope this is visible now so you can go here and then you can start writing the code that you want and uh, if you want to say okay i want to write a python code so i can simply go and start a python file um, you can start with anything i'm just starting with the language that i am familiar with so click the python file uh, so it's going to okay uh, it's going to start a new python so or you can click here go file new file and then once you go there, if you want to load Python, so you can click the plain text here and then say, uh, I want uh, I want Python. Okay, I've got Python. And now I'm going to say, okay, import math and say uh, answer is equal to math dot square root of, um, let's say 256. I'm not sure uh, if 256 is a round figure. And then I can say sample, Pi, uh, I'm saving it on my root sample pi dot pi. So it exists. I just want to override it. Now I can just fire up a terminal. Okay. I can download this file also. Uh, so that's the base, uh, safest option if you want to do. Or in case if you want to connect it with your Git, you can do all those things so that you don't lose actually anything. You can just simply start using it. But I'm just going to fire up my terminal and say Python sample, oops, sample pi dot pi. And then when we run it, nothing happens because I have not printed it and uh, save it. And when you run it, you get 16. When you put 16 here and you get whatever, right? So or uh, if you want to print the same answer like uh, for uh, um, I, uh, I in range, sorry, I in range of 0 to 10. 
and you get the same answer so you have successfully written a python code and you have executed it you could download it and you can also install extensions that's the beauty of it so you've got a full fledged ide on your browser without any um, big dependencies just by firing um, google collab and installing code server and once you are done with this thing once you are uh, finished with this thing so you can probably close it uh or uh, if you are uh, you know if you don't want to give this code to uh, if you don't want anyone to use this so what you can do is you can securely disconnect it once you securely disconnect it now when you click this url nothing is going to happen in this url because now you have securely disconnected it so when you again uh, start your ngrok instance it's going to start with a new url so let me just show you so um, in the free edition you cannot have multiple uh, ngrok session but uh, the idea is uh it will start with a new url and then that url is going to be different from this so that uh, no one else can access your uh, vs code um, uh, same instance so this is quite a handy tutorial once again uh, thanks to amit choudhury for putting together this uh, documentation which is which is quite a simple idea but um, you know uh, it, it doesn't click for a lot of people to think like this and that's the main thing about this a uh, small little hack that helps you install uh, a vs code a server on google collabs linux machine and then fire up that server instance and tunnel it through uh, ngrok to access it anywhere with that url it could be your ipad or a mobile phone or whatever it is so i hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section and i hope you test it out this is a very beautiful hack and at least for the sake of its beauty and elegance you should try it out and uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe And until next video, please stay safe. Bye.